Hi, how are you? Today I want to talk about how having too many questions and doubts can really hurt the creative process. This is my first video and I already know that anxiety will be a recurring topic. I understand that creativity can be a subjective thing and this makes this subject hard to approach, but I'll try my best. My name is Pedro Dutra and in this video I'll be drawing and letting some of my thoughts about this subject. At many points of my artistic experience, the great challenge that I have is about trust. Because how can I assume that something, in this case a, a subject for a drawing, is even worth my dedication? How this question can be bound to such great effort of thought? Of course it is. <laughs> when we look to what people have done over the years, it's amazing. Any created thing will somehow demonstrate virtue in that sense. When I think about fantastic Mr. Fox, for example, from Wes Anderson. Magnesium. Magnesium. Sorry. The choices there are inherently curious. The complex animal society, the incredible realism of their dilemmas is great. And knowing that as an artist, you have the potential to be as creative as the ones who made anything that you like can be overwhelming. Plus, the feeling is way likely to increase as your references grow. But surviving doubt is crucial and that is an exercise of trust. Knowing that really helps me creatively. Maybe the theme in this piece that I'm drawing could not be as witty as it is. The fact that there is a giant frog and a cute girl can be nice, but I believe that any theme can be great. As I understand that, even looking at the things I love, uh, they are most of the time somehow simple. And what makes them great is the knowledge, time and love dedicated upon it. Maybe to survive doubt we gotta understand that Drawing and expressing yourself is enoughly worthy. And as we go, greatness should show up. Of course, that doesn't free us from the responsibility of working hard towards our art, if that's your goal, but it helps on the daily struggle, in which, when piled up, will lead us to a more consistent and ever-growing craft. So the creative process for this image was pretty simple. In a metaphor, I gave room to the influences inside my head to talk and I listened to the possibilities. It's probably similar inside your head too. It's somehow a conversation between the parts of the brain, one part that talks and one part that feels. Uh, that is probably an oversimplification of the actual synaptic process. And similar to a conversation in real life, if the parts are not balanced, it can get unproductive. I know I wanted to use frogs in this piece. I really like how they look and I kept guessing about how they would interact with regular people. So the free and fun association of that really helped me a lot and I try to bring this mindset to whatever thing I do. At the end, the frogs are travelers who sell and buy anything related to plants, no matter how unethical that may get. <laughs> I think at the end they will suggest to cut the girl's arm. I really hope not. The visual experience is born from conceptual relationships, conscious or unconscious, related to culture and meaning. That is fundamentally fun. Thank you very much for watching. This is the first video of a initial bunch. I wanted to get on YouTube for a really long time and I'm looking forward on creating more art videos. If you want to see more of my work, I'm currently most active on Instagram, but I'm sure you'll find me on Facebook and Twitter too. I'll be happy to get to know the people here on YouTube, so see you next time.